Ruskiet here with a random assortment of sentences featuring useful Russian words. Of course, all words are potentially useful, and so it is somewhat redundant to say useful words. But I thought I'd say it anyways. Enough chit chat, on with the lesson. Our first sentence is as follows Ana Nasila Batinki Satremia Polaskami. It means she wore the kind of shoes with three stripes. The word polaskami means stripes and its singular nominative form is polaska. Now for sentence number two. Shark katitsya veniz po ulitsi. It means the ball is rolling down the street. The word to look at here is katitsya, which is a form of katits, which means to roll. Sentence three goes like this. Uvas na rubashki piatno. It means your shirt is stained. The focus word here is piatno, which means a spot or stain. Now, moving on to sentence number four. Morojino ye skora rastayet. It means the ice cream will melt soon. The word to inspect here is rastayet, which means to melt. The perfective form of this verb is rastayats, and the imperfective form is tayats. And finally we have babochka pri zemlilas na svetki. It means the butterfly landed on the flower. The word pri zemlilas is a form of pri zemlitsya, which means to land. And now for a quick bonus sentence. Tavoya babushka rogala dastavku. It means your grandmother scolded the delivery man. Just a quick note here to point out the general similarity between the Russian words for butterfly and grandmother. In fact, although it would be complete nonsense, you could say Tavoya babushka babochka, which means your grandmother is a butterfly. So here are the focus words for this lesson. Polaska means stripe, katits means to roll, pietno means spot, tayats means to melt, and pri zemlitsya means to land. Ruskied, setting off, das vidanya! Russian grammar is complicated, boy, just drive you mad. Birds require conjugation, and nouns are just as bad. Hey, hey.